Ready? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What's going on, world? It is Tahiri, and um, welcome to At This Big Age. You know what this is? You're older now. Some of you guys might know me from YouTube, reality TV. Uh, yeah, I was a star. No, that sounds crazy. No, it's not. I was a star. I'm still a fucking star. 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 Okay. Some of you guys might know me from YouTube, reality TV, your favorite cover girl, entrepreneurship, philanthropist, and new author. What do you know? And right next to me, I got my co-D, co-defendant, partner in crime, my mup, my dog, yeah. my everything. Introduce yourself, girl. The princess of Harlem is here. It's your girl, <laughs> Danae B, wife, mother, professional dancer. You might have seen me with some of your favorite artists or whatever. Can you please give us some of those? Wait a minute. Go, girl. All right. Baby Beyonce. I was with her for a little bit. I be with Megan. The stallion with the good knee. And all the things. Um, But yeah, we're here. We outside. What's happening? But well, welcome to At This Big Age. So basically, At This Big Age is a podcast for women that are maybe 35 plus. 35 less it's just for women everywhere we're going to be diving into topics about motherhood about sex about dating dating about life hey. about hormones health well all the things all the things uh that real women go through and all the things you talk about in your group chat at brunch with it's all you talk about what well, we're here to talk about them yeah let's dive in All right, guys, so if you know me, you know that I like to start things off with, you know what I mean, a little bit of sass or mm -hmm. uh, what, do, what do they call guys nowadays, spicy? A little spicy. A little spicy. <laughs> Jay, no. All right, guys, if you know me, you know I'm a little spicy. So let's start this off with a game. What would you do at this big age? So I'm going to shuffle my cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what would you do? At this big age. At this big old age. Woo! What would you do at this big age? Mm -hmm. Your sister or best friend asked for permission to date <laughs> wait a your minute. first love. My first? Dang. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read this motherfucker again. Yeah, read it again. Bring it back. What would you do? Because I have to bring it back. Because mm -hmm. it ain't my sister, but hold up. What would you do at this big age? Your sister or best friends ask for permission to date your first love. Danae, I'm gonna let you have this one. What would you do at this big age? Not Danae in her 20s. Right, right, right. Or maybe not Danae in her teens. Ooh. What would you do at this big age? Well, I think in this big old age of mine, I might find it in my heart to be like, okay, I might. Because we're so different now, we've grown, like we've experienced so much, and it has to be something in him that if my best friend or my sister, who know me so well, have known me my whole life. You don't told her how good the I S mean, is. Yeah, it must be something, some type of connection that they found that she feels she can't find anybody else, like this is her person. There's too many people on earth. And we've been separate for so long, like we're new people now. You know, we're not the okay. same. Even in the years that we were together, we've changed already in a year. So at this time, like it's been 20 plus years since I was with my first love. And he's a new person, they could be together. Say Harry, what would you do at this big old <clears throat> All right, so if that was my situation where my best friend or my sister would ask me for permission to date an ex, like my first love, absolutely not happening. I believe in community dick and uh -huh. I believe in the greats. So there are greats and there are community dick, okay. all right? So if my sister, my best friend was to come and ask me about a great, and a great would be my first love. There's greats. There's a first love, your ex-husband, that one nigga that used to knock them fallopian tubes off the motherfucking walls. <laughs> uh, that person that you bonded with and you connected with, hard body. Mm -hmm. um, there's certain men in, in your roster, your life. Um, there's certain people that mean so much to you that you don't want to share regardless to how old you are. I can be 80 and my sister, my best friend can never ask me if they can date my first love. My third love, my almost love, my maybe love, maybe. 
Uh, like even if they weren't a soul tie, like even uh, no, soul they, tie your is first like love, first love means soul ties all the way. You For, think? Absolutely. Your first love was the dude that broke your hymen, the dude that you connected with enough to give him something that was very special to you. Now community dick is like, yo, y'all sit, y'all discuss it. If you like a G and you, you know what I mean? If you're not married at this big age, then you have experiences that you can connect with your friends about and you can share and you might not care. You might want to contribute the dick. But Thanks. for a first love, for my best friend and my, or my, matter of fact, my best friend and my sister know not to ever play with me and bought my first love. How about that? Uh, okay, well. Okay. Two very different opinions. I'm sharing. <laughs> it's been 25 and, years. And I'm caring. You have them. And I'm caring. So she's sharing and I'm caring. Yeah. Sh I'm caring. Honey, must have missed that. Tell me about it. Must have missed that one in class. Be and they was like, you got to share the care. Or you got to share the care. You got to care to share. Karen is sharing. I'm not Sharon is caring. I fuck the care bearers. Ah, uh, okay. Boom, bam, wham. Okay, Terry. My love. So we're about to dive into this topic. The topic of the day is scales. <laughs> scales could go so many different types I'm, of ways. I'm, you know, we use scales. I come from Harlem, so we scale different things. Exactly. You know? So we could Jada be Kiss said it best. measuring <laughs> seasonings. We could be measuring. Yeah, we pushing that weight. The weight. <laughs> what is wrong with us? Or we could get on the scale. <laughs> Bear. Yeah, I know at this big age. At this big age, what is we doing and how is we doing it? How is we maintaining the figure? Well, I know how you maintain it. How I maintain it? I watch you on stage, but let me tell you something. What I be doing? Ooh. Doing I be doing it? Doing it. You be doing it. Thank you, Frank. I be you doing it. So I know. So when I watch you, um, like earlier on, you had a pizza, like you had a slice. Wait a minute, don't tell me about that. Uh, I don't eat pizza. People, so she had a slice. I had a slice yesterday, but I think I paid for it this morning. So I watched the name, then it comes off. She just, you just came off tour. Uh-huh. We had a couple of shows. A couple of shows, and I didn't even like, well, you're not a couple. Well, you know, I, I, I've not been on tour dancing, so I call it a tour. She's a couple of shows. We're different artists. Uh-huh. So you kind of burn your fat. And yeah, and we have like eight-hour days. We rehearse. Right. I try to go to the gym. Right. But we did, so right. we're so, burning all the calories. So when she had the pizza and I looked at her and she kind of looked at me like, ah, just, uh, you know, she kind of felt guilty about it. I was like, yo, you just came off of a couple of dates and you deserve this pizza. Aww. And so she looks amazing. I'm romantical. Yeah. No, but I but I watch you and I, and I know what you look like and you look amazing and I'm so proud of you and you deserve that pizza. You worked for that slice. I, however, had the slice last night. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I have not been in the gym in a couple days and I do not work and work out. I don't work out for a living. I think um, I work out for a living mentally, but you work out for a living differently. So I have not been in the gym because I haven't been feeling well and I had the pizza, so I'm non-deserving. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like at this big age, uh, it's more about what you put in your mouth mm -hmm. than how much you work out. Wait a minute now. Yes, honey. This is not Mason. This is not Mason. What's his name? This is not Mason. Um, uh, I love that podcast. Uh, it's Mace and Cameron, where they do oh. pause. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What you put in your mouth. It's not what I put in my mouth, but no, it is what I put in my mouth, and less of how much I sweat. <laughs> but if we add it together, we put in our, if you sweat and work out, then you can put it in your mouth. Fact. Basically. That's what I'm saying. So, no, either way, um, at this big age, I feel like I, it's hard to lose the weight now. And that's why I felt guilty about eating that pizza. Not when you're working out all the time on but stage. It's still different for me because one, I have a baby. Two, I'm over 35. And for my whole life, I was literally like 110, 120 pounds. I, I understand that. And at this, like now I'm struggling. Right, to, to get down. To keep it like at a Steady 160, 165. Oh, girl, I done passed that. But let me tell you something. I'm having a problem with not being a schmedium. Like, I, like, I never been over a certain weight. Mm -hmm. um, I've never been over 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I am a banging, drum roll please. 183! <laughs> <laughs> you look fab. I, she said I look fat? Fab! Oh, I, must, I dated fab. But... Not, wait a minute now. <laughs> no, you look the only good. No, I, let me stop playing. But no, seriously, um, 
it feels it feels different for me though mm-hmm. because although the world could say yo i look fucking amazing you look great you look great i know what my body could do i know what my body's not doing i don't like pulling out clothes and i don't fit shit now um so as much as i want to be okay with being at this age at this big age at this big weight mm-hmm. um i feel like i need to scale back i need to go back to not maybe 150 because we're older so uh everybody thinks i'm crazy when i drop the weight out i really want to be me too but like, um no. i think the weight has a lot to do with our ages stress stress is also a reason why women it's called cortisol um part of our hormones it hikes up and so we gain weight um, it has a lot to do with the type of foods we eat. For me, it's the wine. For me, it's the vodka and the and wine. So I'm not a wine though, but I love wine. It's a lot of sugar. Too. It's so much sugar. So yes, that I think it's about I mean. finding balance. And I think that's what we struggle with more, especially after the pandemic. During the whole during the whole COVID and the fact that we were all locked in, I think everybody gained weight. And mm-hmm. I think that what we need to do in order to get better with ourselves is just give ourselves some grace. You just came. The grace. You gotta have grace. And you know, when I was pregnant, I read this book. Yes. Kelly Rowling wrote a book and it's so fab. I think everybody, every woman who's having a child or not should read this book. And what it helped me. the title? With, I think it's like, called Old oh, Baby. I don't okay. have a phone. No, because, but because I, I don't like, remember Old Baby, but, I, okay. old baby, but it's so fab. Kelly Rowling wrote it. Kelly Rowland wrote this book. And I think what people struggle with when they gain weight or their bodies change or whatever is that they try to fit back in the same clothes. I am people. That you can't. People is me. This is an extra small. If it y'all is. see if y'all see that shit breaking through, that's why the lives look so much stretch. It's really nice. Come on. Hey. <laughs> It's because I'm trying to fit into my old shit. But what she said in the book was just accept where you are and buy clothes that fit. And you will feel way more confident. I agree. Way more comfortable. And in time, like, if you do the necessary work, you can fit back in those clothes. I agree, but I disagree. You know why I disagree? Because because I'm a big believer in if you're not comfortable where you are, you start buying bigger clothes, you're going to just fit into them, and you're going to buy bigger clothes, and you fit into them. And then so you have to stop somewhere. No, but you want you don't want to be spilling out, and the girls be spilling out, or they stuff themselves and they can't breathe. I am girl, and then they're like suffocating. I started buying shit that work like boosty airs and shit. Like niggas suck me, suck me dry now because I am chunky. Um, but no, I I I'm I'm learning to embrace. Like I said, give myself some grace uh, yeah. on where I am, and then just do the work. Yeah. And be okay with what I look like right now. And understand that as we get older, our bodies change too. Super change. And And I don't think that women really step up and say, hey, you know, we're busy watching TV, busy watching a whole bunch of other women in the game, but nobody's really saying, hey, I'm struggling with this. Or, you know, I'm different here. And and this is why it's important to talk about um, weight and knowing that at this big age, things change. I have arms now, people. I have thighs. I used to just be floating booty everywhere. It's just like mad ass. Floating now booty. I'm gonna have, have mad, mad. You can there's a there's very a very nice. There's a clip on um, YouTube, and that's what, what that was the the like they called it floating booty because I was busy jumping on a trampoline and I used to wear a pair of tights and I used to wear ass because I was tiny, but I had a big ass. So now oh, everything what a is big coming. Problem to have. No, but in. now I I'm watching myself mature into this woman in my um, 40s, and I need to embrace it rather than you know be upset about it, and just do the best that I can. Mm-hmm. I think it's important that we don't compare ourselves to anyone, to the bullshit online. To the bullshit, like not the bullshit because women are not bullshit, but just comparing ourselves to other people, like to the perfection of and that or the airbrush. The air, because even yeah, everybody airbrush. Face tune go crazy. Let me tell you, I'll be sucking it in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> little squeeze. With, well, with, I have hella set of stretch. Let me tell you about, We gonna smooth that motherfucker. I'm gonna show y'all. Though. But I think it's important that we don't focus on that and understand that this is real life. This is who we are. When we look in the mirror, just love yourself. Like whatever size you are, and if it's something that you want to be other than what you are at the current moment, then work on work it. at it. High five. Cut out the wine and cut out the swine. Holla. <laughs> just joking. But whatever it takes, like just. Yeah. Do that and to get where you need to be. Right. Do the work. That's important. 
you know, when I'm like getting preparing for a show or like getting ready for a tour or whatever, like some artists like have requirements. Like when I, I was, we were talking earlier about when I lived in Athens, like it was required of us to be under 115 pounds. Like they would bring out the measuring. Tape. I would have definitely got fired. <laughs> But I was also 21 at the time. My butt cheeks are 115 pounds. So they would bring out the measuring tape and literally like measure us, like okay. But that's old school shit. This is, but that was I, I, that I, I just on TV. Like it was like literally a like, thing. I didn't think it was real until I experienced it. And my show was the more laxed one. Like we were the more like cool, like commercialized show. But other shows in like Greece, like they were super strict. The girls had to be 100 pounds. You had to be at least five nine. Like, it was crazy. Now, I'm with an artist who is, like, super all about the body and just loving whatever state you're in. Like, that's why I wanted to get my stretch marks, like, tattooed in so my skin just looked like. She was like, absolutely not. It's a requirement to have stretch marks if you're on this team. <laughs> I you have to have abs. You got to have thighs. That's like, empowerment. And yeah. it's more about embracing your body and mm -hmm. yourself. And I think that's very important because the young women that come, you know, like they're coming up now, they're mm -hmm. looking at us and looking at all this perfection and watching us on social media, watching you on stage, they mm -hmm. feel like, you know, you're this perfect individual, not knowing that you're also struggling with some things. And if you don't have this mic in front of you, and you do not discuss these type of things. These little girls go over there and they try to do the most to be like you, but you are normal. You're not human. understanding that and my ass working. is up and at the gym. And, and, have and, you're a working trainer. With, and you're working with someone who embraces a woman's actual body. Yeah. And that's important. And she understands the importance of fitness and like encourages us like, okay, let's all eat healthy. Let's all do this. Let's all go to the gym. Let's make sure. And then even in rehearsals, like we're having core days. Okay. That's today so we're awesome. just focusing on crunches we're focusing on arms like quick question is she yeah. hiring <laughs> hey, what you trying to do hey i'm trying to dance and get in shape but on and bust uh, when it comes to like my field um there is pressure um i come from the social media world i was one of the last cover models ever to grace king magazine like i believe that my my the last cover ever was mine and keisha cole's it was a double cover and it sold out um, and then and digital took over and then things happen in digital. Uh, even even when it came to magazines, the whole airbrushing thing or that not natural bodies back then you could get fake titties. You weren't really getting fake butts and you weren't doing a lot of these fake things. And we live in a world where, you know, everybody's just airbrushing everything or portraying to be something that they're not. Um, and the women feeling the young women feeling like they have to uh, amount to this, this, this standard that really doesn't exist um and this is why i've always been really um vocal about having my my cellulite um you know not being a perfect weight or the struggles of me trying to lose weight or you know even whenever i'm whatever detox i'm on or you know me having fatty foods and uh having uh, alcoholic beverage and sometimes detoxing just to kind of find a balance this is why i've always i'm really big on um talking about just you know living life instead of you know letting life live us um, but, uh, it is, it is a struggle, um, in a world where, you know, social media is never, it, it just never stops. Um, and you make your money over these platforms and just like your image, um, I'm not going to lie and say that, you know, even me who, who preaches being, um, not allowing it to, to, to put that pressure on me at some point I have looked in the mirror and said, maybe I need to fine tune something. And I never thought I would ever be this honest about saying, oh, maybe I need to go suck this up. Uh, <laughs> because I'm getting older at this big age, shit don't snap back as a youth. Right. And I don't have any children. So I think I think one of my, um, one of the reasons why my body has been so intact is because I haven't had children, right? My titties are still standing at attention. And there's certain things that mothers complain they, they go to doctors for. Mm -hmm. um, and they have to go to doctors for because you have, if you have certain ch your children, your, your body just, you know, some bodies fall yeah. apart. Um, so I think that I, because I've had children, I've been in that side of it. I've been okay, but I still have certain pressures of, um, you know, staying young, staying forever young. It's like I like to hashtag or, you know, not gaining weight. Um, things that I never thought I would care about. Mm -hmm. I used to look at certain celebrities around me when I started and they would be super insecure and they would ask me when we would go out, do I look good? I'm not gonna name who they are, but they'd be like, how do you think I look? How do and I'm like, you know who you are? Like, why are you even at, like, I had to tell a couple women like, Stop, you are that bitch. Yeah. And um, I never, and I remember saying I could never be like her. Mm. 
here I am 10 years later and I sometimes double question everything because at this big age, things start to, gravity happen. Gravity um, is inevitable. Yeah, and I'm learning to accept it and, and, and um, find that balance yeah. and, and always remember who the fuck I am um, and not allow the word to dictate what I'm supposed to look like. That's super important. Hey, foundation. She's I the foundation. <laughs> it takes time, though. It does. As women, because, you know, men men age fine like wine. And women, oh, she's so old. And you be like, mm, honey. Yeah. We just begun. This is mm-hmm. when it gets nice. Hello. <laughs> I just remember, like, when we were doing Coachella and um, Mrs. Carter had just had the twins. I was just coming back from having King. And King was only three months when I came back. So they were like, use me to like test out like lifts or test out like different things. And they're like, you know, you and Mrs. Carter just went through similar things and she was working so hard, like to lose weight. gotta lose this weight. This is my goal. Because I mean, Coachella is one of the hugest stages mm-hmm. in the world. So she, and we had just, um, because we were supposed to do it the year before, it's like, it has to be bigger, Perfect. gotta be better, it right. gotta be. And she know. had the babies. And she had the twins and they were, I think, maybe nine months when we started or something the like that. Pressure. It was three months. And I just remember like, and she, I think she had a C-section where I had a vaginal birth. So I'm like, our situations are a little different. And correct me if I'm wrong. Uh-huh. Um, I don't have any children, but I'm one of 14. And um, one of 14 is wild. My father's wild. But my mom had three girls at home. Shout out to my mama hey, mom. and that veg. Um, she has C-sections, but I know that um, even after you have birth, you have to do a good 40 to 60 days where you can't really do much because you have to heal. Like you have to let your uterus and, you know, all the stuff in there, the fallopian, everything to kind of heal correctly before you can start doing anything extracurricular. You should any extra, be. Yeah, any curricular activity. Definitely activities. with a C-section because they literally are right. cutting the muscle. Right. Like they're cutting into you to right. take the baby out. Whereas vaginal, I asked my doctor, how soon could I? I was like, how soon can I go that dark? She was like, as soon as you feel good. <laughs> no. no, sex is six weeks. See? Don't do it. There, there is like, there is, you can't wear heels. There's certain things. Don't do it. I don't do know it. if it's, it's cause I'm, I know it's old school cause my grandmother used to talk about this around me and my grandmother's like 86 and she would say, you know, you can't wear heels. You can't do it. You can't push and pull. You can't carry heavy bags. You can't sure. have sex. Yeah. You can't let anything play, anything to play with your downstairs yeah, you shouldn't for, the, do for it. like, I think 40 to 60 days. So that's two months to three months. For me, I went back to work in two weeks. I was a little crazy. Uh, but but then you were also younger. I was 30. Yeah. I had my son at 30. So, um, yeah, I just remember, like, her working so hard, like, them using me as a, a testy, like, because we had gone through similar things. They're like, if you can do it, we believe she can do it. I'm like, everybody's it's a different. little different, but because everybody's body is different. Absolutely. Everybody's in dirt, like, it's different. Right. But I'm going to test out. it out. I'm like, hell no. I can't do it. I can't be slipping through the air. All I want to say <laughs> is that we women are fucking magical. Super women. Here we are. Like, we're super, we're, super, we're, we're, we're magical super women. We're magical. Really. Facts. Magicians. Psh. So I, I think at this big age, no, I think, I know. At this big age, I've always been someone who was kind of like a gym rat, but because I was supposed to be a police officer. So part of me, you didn't know that girl? Okay, Mrs. So, officer. Holla. I think, I think he wrote it about me. No, I'm joking. No, I didn't date him. I'm lying. It wasn't about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but like in terms of being a police officer, while I was in, in college, I knew I had to prep for the exam. So I was always kind of like a gym rat off and on. And that kind of spilled over to me not becoming a police officer in my real life. So I've always been really big on the upkeep. Um, I think this was embedded in me. My father's like me, um, facials and drips. So drips are the vitamins that I, you know, I, I go to Love the IV. Yeah, drips. so I go to the IV drips. I get the drips that, you know, I instead of I, I pop my 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 uh, I pop I pop my vitamins on a daily. But you know, those vitamins take uh, a lot to for you to absorb and. By the time you absorb it, I think 30% of it is what your body absorbs and the rest you pee out. Mm-hmm. So um, I go get my drips once a month. Um, it is important for me to get the proper blood work to know what my body needs. So people take vitamins and they feel like, oh, I'm taking that, you know, daily vitamin or I'm taking that vitamin C or E or D, whatever you think you need. But your blood work, if you go to the right doctors, they'll find out what your body's lacking mm-hmm. and what you shouldn't overdo and overtake. Um, and so I'm really big on my upkeep, and that's my vitamin drips. I, I work out. I have a physical therapist that comes to see me at home as well. 
Um, I believe in healing with, tu with touch. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a back problem and they were trying to shoot up my back. And this is me um, at an early age. Mm. And so instead of doing that, I chose to do the math, the homework, to try to figure out how my body can heal without doing what, you know, doctors do. And that's, it's a business, it's medicine. So I am really big on finding holistic ways or just other ways to heal my body. So right now in my current state at this big age, I am really big on taking care of my body, um, the balance, because I drink like a fish. I love me some vodka and I love me some tequila and I love me some, you know, I love the spirits on earth. However, on a daily basis, I feed my body the necessary tools that it needs and that's the massage, the physical therapy, the trainer, the drip, the facial, the, you name it, it's kind of pricey, but that's, I, I work hard for it. We just started doing cryo. Oh, I love cryo. Oh my God. I, I've done cryo. It's good for inflammation. Uh-huh. And to revitalize the muscles. Yes. Because I'm not getting in the ice bath, but I'm going to stay in the ice chamber. I, I, do, I, I do ice bags. I, ice do? baths. Yeah, I do. I go to the spa as well. Um, and I do a lot of the spa baths and stuff. Um, cryo is really good for you. Um, it's fun too as well. Um, I also, there's so many things that you can do. Um, I do the, I have the, I, I do the, the cellulite massages. Oh. I do a lot of the, um, uh, the wood therapy. I do wood therapy, but I do a lot. There's a lot of science is changing. Like even the workouts at the gym where you used to have to like, put weights on all of your, like, if you want to lift weights, now you have pressure. Mm -hmm. um, you could actually, it's machines. It's like computerized now. Oh, so you wow. like the, everything's changing. Um, so I do a lot of, I go to spas to like, help me with my cottage cheese. I, I'm always like, let me the cheese lose online. Like, you know what I mean? I'm a thick woman. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got some cottage cheese. Don't let the airbrush fool you. Uh, so I do a lot of these things. Um, and I don't know. It just, it's, it just, it's just my thing. Like I'm really big on being forever young at this big age. I love that. And not to say that we're not going to age, we're just going to age gracefully. I mean, I think it's way different in the two thousands than it was in the seventies. Like mm -hmm. the 35 and up year olds are definitely giving 25 year old energy, 25 year old skin. We dress young. Like, it's just very different, which I love. Um, I think it's important, too. Yeah. I think it's important to take care of yourself because there's so much happening on Earth, so you have to kind of take care of your mind, body, and soul. And that keeps me together. So yeah. I really take my time to do the andromology massages. The what it is? Andromology massages. Um, there's so many things I do. That's a big um, old word. I'm also, I can't spell it. Spell it. Uh -uh, andromology. Andromology. On top of that, though, um, I'm also blessed to have a platform. So, you know, I barter with these places and they, you know, I walk in and I get the PRPs, the facials where they, um, they draw your blood and then they, they separate your blood and they take the plasma, this false liquid gold, and then they reinfuse it in your skin. And it's supposed to be better than Botox. And I've seen changes. It's, it's good with scars. And I do that all day. So I do that once a month. So I do a lot of these things to um, keep this bitch young. And I think um, that keeps me, it's mental, it's physical, and it's emo It's all of it. And you look good. Hot uh, damn. <laughs> at the end of the day, though, at the end of the day, it's all about balance. Yes. So I, get, I do give myself, you know, Sunday fun day. Mm -hmm. um, I do not, like, I... It, you you invite me on a Tuesday somewhere. I'm not not gonna eat, but everything in moderation. Right, right. I right. don't believe I do do detoxes and I do juice from time to time, but I do not believe in like keeping myself from things because eventually then you'll do the most when you can have these things. Right. So I think life is all about a balance. I mean, this is how I handle things. Like I'll drink, but I'll drink yellow water. Like I just kind of figure out what what my rhythm is. I think it's important for a human being to find their rhythm mm -hmm. and what works for them. Yeah. For me on the road, I think. I eat a lot less. I'm drinking a lot of water. I might have like veggies and like a protein. I'm not super big on carbs, like when I'm working, but when I come home, you OD because you're home. I go crazy and I cook. Like I cook three times a day. I don't you eat leftovers. Out. Like I'm eating everything in one day. So I gotta go to the gym. Like like you said, it's all about balance. Yeah. But when I definitely when I'm working, I'm like super 
veggies and a protein I'm and a the, wine. I, I, you know what I've just recently yes. started doing is um, intermittent fasting. Oh, and it's and it's and I feel less bloated as a woman. Um, I think that a lot of us deal with the bloatness. Mm-hmm. And if you ever watch on social media, even on TV, like anybody, everybody's always talking about you girls and the bloatness, and this is what you should use. Mm-hmm. Um, intermittent fasting has made me feel less bloated. And I can see the difference in my body. Again, it all depends on your shape and your size. Right. I do. I've. As of recently, I've been doing um, 16 hours, Mm -hmm. including the eight hours I sleep. So I try to get my night's sleep, and then I do eight-hour window of eating. And you can eat whatever you want, but by then you don't want to eat that much garbage. You know what I mean? So for the most part, I'm trying to figure out my rhythm, um, but it's all about a balance, period. I need a half one, eh? Eight eight hours eating. Yeah, it's an eight-hour window, so 16 16, hours. Yeah, and that's 24. So, but, But you can add on the many hours you sleep. And then you calculate the last time you ate, and then that's how you deal with the 16-8. Um, but I feel less bloated, and I feel a lot better, and I see my weight changing. Do you have more energy? Yeah, I'm good. That's right. I need to try that maybe, perhaps, when I'm home. Yeah. Not on the road. And that's what it is. It's hungry. It's on the road, and then you're burning so much. Burning. Dancing. Bur- yeah. Travel. You go and go and go, like, for sure. Say, so, Harry. Yes, my darling. Tell me what your guilty... Food pleasure is. Oh, I'm such a. I, I'm literally when it comes to food, I'm all about whatever I'm feeling at that moment. But if you were to ask me what I need to have on Sunday Fun Day, okay, what do you need to have on Sunday Fun Day? Pizza. 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 What kind of pizza? What you want on your pizza? Just cheese. That's it. I I could add some peppers and onions, but I don't I don't eat pork and I don't eat red meat. So oh. I don't I don't really care for chicken in my pizza or pineapples. Y'all could miss me on that one. Dang. Unless y'all cut in the check, I mean that shit. Dang. <laughs> no, but no, I need I need pizza. I'm into wings and French fries. Um, I have my specific restaurants I fuck with whenever I know I can eat eat. Um, there's sometimes I'm missing my pastas. So I'm really it's all about. Whatever it is that that day I could fucking go in and, and it's and it's usually carby. I'm a carby girl. Like I like mm. rice. I like tea. Mm. I like bread. Speak my you language. You can leave me with bread anywhere. If you ever say to you, you're stuck on an island. What are the three things you bring? I'm bringing that loaf of bread. You hurt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ghetto. The loaf of bread is crazy. Nigga, and I'm not eating no crumbs. You not- tell me? Nah, fuck. So you need peanut butter Well, if y'all jelly. need to find me and that's when I'm stranded, I'm going to leave. I'm going to crumb it out. Oh, my but God. But other than that, yo, bread and me are one. Okay. <gasps> bread and rice and cheese and pizza and wings and pasta. Now you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Somebody feed me. <laughs> I can't live without Oxo. Oh, no. I used to love oxtails. I don't eat that no more. Oxo, rice and peas. I'm, my mom can't is you. Cabbage. Wait, is, you doing a robot? I was about to give you a Millie Rock. Hey, oh, look at me on my own. Oh, I was this, about to hit it with a bulldog. Yo, at this age, I thought it was a robot. This was just doing a Millie Rock. I was doing a Millie Bulldog. Like, that, wait, wait, like what is a, it? A Teach you that shit. Like, bam. I used to fucking eat the oxtails. Too, but I don't eat I it now. I eat that shit every day. I can find me some fake. I don't even eat fake oxtails. But damn, that my sisters love that shit. My mom does it. Vegan oxtails? I don't know what are they? Tofu? I'm oxtails? not sure, but the shit. I'm like eating that fire. shit. The government is lying to y'all. Wait a minute now. It was. Well, what was it? This robot? Because I thought that's what you. Okay, you gotta teach me it some was shit. This? Like, you just didn't hit it, like bring it back. <laughs> You're the dancer, not me, bitch. I just look good in the song. Clearly. I, I was just gonna stand there. Me, you, Megan, just stand there. Can't live without it, though. Can't. <laughs> yeah. Yo, my sisters love it. And I that, that was my favorite dish that my mom used to cook, and I and she serves it, and I look at it, I can't have it. I don't. Um, I, you yeah. just get the gravy and put it on your rice? Not even. Not even the gravy? <laughs> you go without the gravy? <laughs> So what you put on the rice, butter? Yeah. I'm putting beans and shit, regular people shit. Oh, well, I don't eat oxtails no more, but I miss it. Eventually, but you don't eat the gravy? In re- look, in theory, I miss it, but my tummy doesn't want it. So I'm just, I'm honoring my body and my body doesn't want oxtails. I miss it. But even the gravy, not, not the meat. Y'all can keep that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Y'all can keep them sausages, them, all that green, all that red shit, all that red meat shit. I'm cool. I don't even, I eat turkey and, and, and that's as far turkey. as it goes. Yup, and I don't even, you know what I mean? I gotta do what I gotta, my body don't want it. What you want me to do, Danae? Body. Eat Take it. The, eat Take that it. shit. Shove it down. <laughs> Scarf it. I can't do it. Okay. But yeah, I, I get it. I love the, the fact that you love it. So I'm gonna have my mom but cook Pack me you. up a plate. I, I'm gonna cook, my mom facts. I'm gonna say. Yeah. 
I'm going to tell you right now. She's about to be the Dominican, you know, she's about to be the new Dominican daughter. But basically, love your body. Yeah. Love yourself. And, and honor it. And you it's honor all, the body. It's all about self-love and, and honor it. Whatever it is, whatever whatever size you're in, um, whatever your body can take, whatever you want to eat. Because like I said, I can't, my body doesn't want any red meat. So I just honored it. I didn't, I didn't even think it would happen and it just started happening. So... Um, just honor it and um, do the work. I think it's important. People don't want to do the work no more. Because there's all these get-rich-quick schemes out here that these social platforms are selling us. <laughs> but don't give in to the man. Do the work. <laughs> Go to the gym. Facts. Eat healthy. Let's try it. Try it. You'll like Find it. Find your rhythm. Not everything is for everyone. Get you a fine-ass trainer. That tells you good job. I'm not. I'm not doing the finance trainer. You don't want a finance trainer. Well, what's your trainer look like? He look, he cool, but I, I I want to go work out. I don't want to have this motherfucking conversation. I want. But go he work. gotta you push like, you, and yeah. you have something to trainers, look at. Look, trainers push you. Period. If you're One. a fat trainer, stay away from me. Two. Look, tra- look. If you're a fat trainer, like I never understood the trainer or the hair or the hairstylist that our hair look like shit. Like if your hair look like shit, don't do my hair. If you're a fat trainer, don't train me. Wait so minute. I'm not looking at my trainer as in he's fine. I just want, no, I don't want you to talk to me. Boot cap me. Boot cap this hoe. But look good. Boot nah, I'm not. Nah, I'm not trying to, nah, I'm not trying to do that either. Boot camp the fuck nah, out nah, of me. Nah, I'm not trying to do that either. I'm single. That. I need so, to see no, a body. I'm single. I'm single. And this fine ass trainer comes up behind me. And, yes. and I'm like, I'm about to do a bench press and his nuts are right here. I might swallow deep. I'm on cool. your I'm forehead. Not, I'm good. I'm cool. Yeah. Do not, do, do not teabag me. I'm Fine good. As fuck. I'm, glad that, I'm, I'm glad that my current trainer's married and I know his wife has a kid and we yes. good. We good. Nobody. They I don't even look at my trainers that way. Married. Good. Children. If you fine, stay the fuck away from my single ass. Her. I mean, and you know, I just, I, my trainers are cool. I don't want me to be your trainer. Nah, cause you might you might just drop that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I bet we lit. Oh, I'm on oxtails. Yes, it's worried. Be outside. <laughs> See, I want to play a game with you. Let's do it. What is it? Wait, I'm wait. What? What is it? I want to play a game. I don't trust you. Why? I trust you. You're my cold dean. So Hello. My cold. You're. I'm so my cold dean. Now my cold host. Now no, I'm the cold host. D. The cold D. The cold D. <laughs> Why is my cold D when we play? I wouldn't play a game called C or no. Nah. Wait. C or no. Nah. C or no. Nah, like so yes or no, but C. C in Spanish, C. Yes. Senor. Or no. Yes. Or no. Okay. Like no. And then yeah. So I can't do the robot. I got to do the what? Which you was doing earlier? The, the Millie. The Millie rock. Yeah. But C or no. Nah. Okay, C or no. Nah. So okay. Let me find my little cards. Oh, you got cards up that butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, she just came off her cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> my shit bag too. Uh, I, I got bag. a little wagon. I see that wagon. You dragging that wagon, baby. See me? Pulling it. Okay, I, I don't know what she's coming up with, guys. Here we go. And I already know her. If I'm spicy, she's spicier. Wait a minute now. Talk to me. C or no? Age ain't nothing but a number. C, and that means yes for y'all that don't know. Okay. Do I got it? You want me to answer you? Yes. C, 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 C. <laughs> Arriba, arriba. C, C, C. Okay, C or no. Nah. Mary J. Blige, wait a minute now. Mary J. <laughs> Blige will beat Whitney Houston in a versus. Wow. Fuck. Mary J. Yes or no, but there's no middle? No middle. C or no. Nah. Mary's catalog or Whitney's? Mary's. Over Whitney's? I said what I said. Okay, so you're giving a C. A C. C. What do you think? How you say I don't know? <laughs> Yo no sé. Yo no sé. <laughs> Even though I said it was Yo, no but you just see or not, you told me there's no gray. You sound like my ex-boyfriend. For you, not for me. He sound like, she sound like my ex-boyfriend. I said it for you. Yes or no. I'm like, nigga, gray. There's ooh, no gray. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's how you say you? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay, see or no. Well, that's not fair. Why? Okay. I got I the car. Okay, fine. You win. Go ahead, driver. Take the wheel. Nothing wrong with straight men wearing nail paint. Um, see, nothing wrong with that. I, I, I look. I, I like. I like a Travis Barker. I like a, a little Yachty. I like even Drake just came through with the. You know what I mean? That means nothing. That means nothing. If a man secure his sexuality, 
he can do whatever. He can wear a skirt, and I'm still be like, that's but is it a skirt God. or is it a kilt? Tilt. Go ahead, Shaddy. Whatever y'all want to call it. The world isn't as educated as as most. They don't even know what a kilt is. To some but people. I no, I don't want my man have to have pink hearts. Well, I his nails. Well, I know this nigga ain't gay, so it is what it is. But, so and if he was, he got a French tip. No, that's still kind of fruity. I can give a French tip because you know how you be having a little white. Like little I think, my, I, think hair. I think that um, rockers have been doing it for a long time and nobody said anything now. Are they be getting like silver metal? No, or black. That's yeah. the point. So now hip hop does it and all of a sudden we should have a problem. Like it's all a trend. But why don't they do hip hop? Why do they have to do like that? Don't even sell hip hop. Right yeah, like, with I, hip-hop. Take that. I don't know. I, I don't know, kid. That's all crazy. All right. See or nah. You can be friends with your exes. I'm friends with all my exes. I actually have. Yeah. See, see, see. See, see, senorita, me. I be having sangria with all of them, except for the last one. I'm some sangria. What, you be, you be, see or no? You get be friends with See, ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't got issues with my exes, except for we the last cool. one or two. Dap it up, let's go to the club. Invite me to the way. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't care. Send me the registry. Bye. See you or no. Whoever is driving, the sorry says, whomever oh. is driving. Y'all are proper over here. Whomever is driving should control the radio. Fuck, as the driver, see. No, I'm lying. Nah. Because I'm doing one thing, you need to do something else. Like, y'all, you need to contribute to this motherfucking road trip. And stay up. And stay up with me. Because why the fuck you going to sleep? And on top of that, why can't we battle this? How are you taking a nap? <laughs> the nerve. Do the radio. Like, I'm supposed to be a driver. Hello. <laughs> so you are now. Yes. You will go to a new beach. See. I was worn out. I love yo. I promise you, I'm only wearing clothes because at this big age, got to. I think I'm gonna conscious now. If not, I've been out here like this. Hey, you know, watch this clip. Or you're gonna get a ticket. Fuck that. We we eat those. We pay those. We got that money now. You hurt. I'm not walking down Flatbush naked. I'm sorry. Dare me. I dare you. I'm Take it off right now. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> Triple dog dare you. <laughs> I hate your fucking see or not. See or not. But stay tuned, y'all. Y'all might, y'all, y'all never know what y'all might run into. A little see or not, your man has input on what you wear. Uh, see, but that's because in my experiences, my men are really good with fashion and I have so many flavors in my closet and I don't want to do the work and they do it for me. That's very nice. I love a man that could dress. That is such a turn on. And they could dress me. And I'm dropping like, all the gems. I hope y'all taking notes. I don't gotta bring it. I just love a man who could put it together. That's very fun. See? See? Mm -hmm. What you said it was? Do I bless Espanol? See? For the middle? Oh, eh, eh, what you said, maybe? What was it? Yeah, maybe. A lo mejor. Uh, what's the other word? Un poquito. A maybe. A lo mejor. Yeah, it was a lo mejor. I see, I see. I see, I see. So, so. I can do that one. I see, hey, I, this is the last one. Thank you, Jesus. Know. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I think she kind of already answered. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Pineapples belong on pizza. No, the fuck they don't. <laughs> Unless Pizza Hut cuts me a fucking check, I'm eating that shit. Pizza Hut, Papa John's, come see the kid. You the local pizza shop? Yeah, I've, I had it before. It wasn't bad. Did you like it? I just don't like um, sweet and savory, so no. Nah. I like either keep it sweet or there's no por lo menos un poquito. It's either one or the other. See si or not. Nah. Yeah. And pineapples do not belong on pizza. Fuck what you heard. But cut the check though, I'll eat it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, and this concludes my game of See or Not. I like this game. Hold you do? My Cody's so fucking fire. Yeah. So fire. I think, I think we um, kind of killed it today. Me too. You think so? Well, welcome back. I've missed you. You missed me? Yeah. I missed you too. I know you did. He was on stage, pop lock, and then drop it. But we in the city now. We back yeah. outside. We back up. Period. Join us for the next episode of At This Big Age. Like, comment, and subscribe. And ask us whatever you want to uh, ask. And whatever you feel free to tell us what you want to hear, what you want us to talk about. And we shall deliver. Because at this big age, we're not afraid to talk about anything. Nothing. And keeping it real. And keeping it real. That's very important. All the table chat. All the group chats. All the group chats hit us up. Bye. Can I do this now? Yes. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Um.